my name is Rachel and today I'm bringing you my Golden Girls Readathon TBR. <laughs> So we are up to our fourth summer June Golden Girls Readathon challenge, and I'm really excited about it. Um, because it's our fourth one, I will say that we have had um, three of the four girls win so far. Blanche is the only one that hasn't had a win. So I am jumping ship from Team Sophia and joining Team Blanche this year because I really want to see my girl Blanche win a season. And before I jump into my TBR, I just want to say I'm going to leave the announcement video link down below and the website with everything you need to join you are welcome to join the entire month at any point uh, just sign up before you start locking points that way I can calculate everything and even it out correctly but you are welcome to join at any point in June that you'd like to join on to the TBR the first five are the ones that are common for everybody and uh, so this doesn't get very long I'm not going to go into too much of a description about them but I will tell you the title and the category so first up is a book set or published in the 80s or 90s and for that I'm going to go with a southern book club guy to slaying vampires by Grady Hendrix. I believe this is set in the 90s and I want to get it read before his next book comes out in July. For a strong female main character I'm going to go with Homicide and Hollow Hollow by Mia P. Min and Sala. I have been trying to get this book started all year but I've just been in a huge reading slump so this is the time. I'm so excited to get to it. I love the first book in the series. Next up is to reread a favorite. I'm going to go with Legendary by uh, Stephanie Garber. I reread Caraval last month so that I'm ready to finally read the finale book uh, next month. And then a book by and about someone who identifies as LGBTQIA+. I'm going to go with Melissa by Alex Gino. This was originally called George but the title was changed to suit our transgender character and this is about a transgender child wanting to audition for a play and gender roles become an issue. Um, one of the main reasons I'd like to read this book besides it being Pride Month is that it has been on the banned book list pretty much every year I feel like since it's come out and it's really important to me to stay on top of those. Um, I think any book worth banning is a book worth reading and uh, recently this year my YouTube friend here on booktube uh, just read it and absolutely loved it. I'm going to leave Sig Heavy's link down below to her rave review of this book. Next up is a book you think your girl would read. And I feel like for Blanche, anything with steamy romance scenes is going to be on point for Blanche. So I'm going to go with Dead Until Dark. This is the first book in like the True Blood um, book series, which I have been meaning to start all year because I joined this read along and I have not been reading along. <laughs> so we're going to start now uh, and read Dead Until Dark. Next up for the Blanche specific categories includes artwork. I immediately thought of graphic novels. I was going to do Heartstopper, but because it's so popular and then on top of that, they released the movie recently. You literally cannot get your hands on a copy of that book. So I'm going to put that on hold and I'm going to focus on reading lore. I have had this on my shelf now for a while and it looks just so gorgeous. I just, I've got to get it read. I'm going to love it. Next is the most attractive book on your shelf and I'm going at this a little bit sideways. I'm I'm going with Horror Hotel um, and I guess you somewhat might argue this cover is not attractive but it attracts me. Literally this was an absolute cover buy. I have wanted to read this ever since I saw the cover. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the way that the skull is shaped into the hotel. I love this cover. Next up is a bee somewhere on the cover. So I'm going to go with Beach Read. This is one I've been wanting to read in the summer. So it'll be perfect time to read it. I'll take it with me to the pool and read it there. Next up is a romance. And for that, I'm going to go with Love and Luck. This is the second book in the uh, Love and Gelato series. Um, one, I actually read Love and Gelato for the Golden Girls Summer Readathon a year or so ago. So I thought this would be very fitting. And two, the, sh the Netflix show is supposed to be coming out for that first one sometime this summer. So it'll be great to jump back into that universe. And last but not least, a book by a black indigenous or person of color. And for that, I'm going to go with here for it. I have been wanting to read this book since I bought it and I have not managed to do it. But the last few months I've been specifically saving it for Pride Month. So 
no better time than the present to add it to this TBR. So there are my top 10 choices for the month. I have been in quite a bit of a reading slump, so this is definitely tentative, but I'm really hoping since I'll be out of school pretty much by the time this readathon starts that I will have time to read 10 books this month. That's the goal. <laughs> so definitely let link your TBR if it's somewhere on the internet down below so we can all see your TBR. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video soon. Good luck with your Golden Girls Readathon. Bye.